Proszę swe oczy ku górom skąd przyjdzie mi pomoc, pomoc od Pana wszak Bogiem. We were once we revived. I think I'm not sure if it was planned, but uh, we got surprised by uh, two amazing sisters. Which uh, we managed to fill up all our luggage into one really small car, but it all worked out. So uh, shout out to the sister that drove all the our luggage. Not this next one. First of all, we had to go up the hill once we got off the metro. <laughs> and then that was pretty neat. We went to the Divine Mercy Shrine, which is basically the heart of our whole pilgrimage. This was really the heart of all of three saints. They proclaimed the mercy of God to others, giving their life. Wow! Welcome! <laughs> As soon as like you laid eyes, like I can see in everyone's face, they all wanted to go inside the chapel. This was probably one of my favorite moments. I had read the diary of Saint Faustina, and you know, reading the diary, I would try to picture her dialogue with Jesus. But never in my mind did I think I was going to go to Poland, going to go to the convents that she had stayed. So it was an overwhelming joy <laughs> to be there. Seeing the excitement of the other pilgrims with me who hadn't been there before and being able to recall the beautiful memories that I had from being in this place. And it was really cool then afterwards to go and take a tour of the whole campus, I guess you could say, of the convent, the pilgrim house, the chapel, and then the Basilica of Divine Mercy. I loved how um, Sister Gaudi and Sister Inga would quote from St. Faustina's diary, kind of um, pointing out different places where either Jesus had talked to her or something had happened in her life that was from the diary. Um, so it was really just kind of an immersion into her life and everything at the shrine there. What struck me was how simple it all was and how really everything that she gave to the world, it came from God. She was, in the eyes of the world, she was nothing, zero. She meant nothing to the world. Sister Gaudia is a rock star. She knows all the sisters there. They all love her. It was beautiful to meet them and see the excitement that they had when they saw her, that she was visiting all the way from America with us. So it was really cool to see their joy and to experience the shrine through her eyes, through someone who lived there and worked there for so long, and to be welcomed there by all of, all of the sisters and everyone else who works at that beautiful, beautiful, holy place. At the Basilica of Divine Mercy, there really is a special presence there of God and His mercy. Unexplicable, you can't see it very tangibly, but it's there. Me and some other pilgrimage, we climbed up the steps instead of taking the elevator, so we kind of challenged ourselves. And we went all the way to the top, and I think it was like 17 floors, so. It was pretty cool to see, so. We were able to climb a tower at the Basilica, which gives a great view of the area around Krakow. 